Joshua Binda is barely old enough to buy a beer, but he's running for Linwood City Council. It would make him the youngest African American ever elected to office in Washington, but for him, that's just the beginning. Linwood in a way changed my life in a way, it gave me an opportunity to um to seek a better education, to seek a better life. The product of Liberian immigrants who literally won a lottery to come to America, Joshua Binda soon learned life here wouldn't be as easy as he dreamed. I've been pulled over a lot by the police. I've experienced racism and people calling me the N-word. I've experienced racism on every level possible, I would say. It was the murder of George Floyd last summer that inspired Binda to organize protest rallies around his community, as well as meet with mayors and police chiefs, hoping to foster a better understanding. I think it, it definitely fueled my passion for wanting to seek justice and wanting to seek help for people of color. And me being African American just brought that to an even more personal level for me. But while others in the Black Lives Matter movement saw a system so broken it needed to be torn down, Binda made a commitment to change it from the inside. Just days ago, he filed with the state to run for Linwood City Council. At 21, he says he'd be the youngest council member ever elected in Linwood and the youngest African American elected in the state. This is a lifelong battle. And um, I think as the generations get, as we've grown more and more older, we've realized that it is our place to implement the change we want for our future. Why do you think you can work within the system and actually fix it? In order to, to change that, we have to change things that have been built within our system to begin with. The former Kamiak High School football star will soon be studying political science at UW Bothell. And if elected, Binda hopes he's an inspiration to others in his generation to take on the system and change it for good. And I'm just thinking about being the, being the person that can be a catalyst for other young people to say, hey, we're not too young to change things. We're not too young to change our community. The primary for Linwood City Council is in August. If he advances, Binda would then go on to the general election in November. In Linwood, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.